Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makarakudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bavi Akanan from the GMS England branch. This will serve as a brief video based upon, you know, this news that has been um, heavily circulating today in the um, cryptocurrency news arena concerning this um, executive order that has been put forth by um, President Joe Biden. All right. And the reason that, you know, this is very um, significant in the grand scheme of things is because, you know, we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barashem Yahweh Shai that um, they are trying to um, enforce this new world order, all right? They are trying to um, enforce, you know, a cashless society. They are in the, in the, in the, um, in the progression of cancelling, you know, the dollar, all right, the US dollar. And, you know, moving over to a totally, you know, digital system, which is the plan to usher in, you know, the B system. And eventually, pursuant to biblical prophecy, you know, they will indeed make mandatory the um, the CHIP, all right, which is the MOTB, all right? These things are getting ready to happen, you know, in these latter days upon the face of the earth. And that is why... All of these significant events are happening, all right, in unison in order to aid biblical prophecy, all right? Because remember, it's all about the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Barashem, Yahweh Shai, and it's all about the prophecies that he has foretold us about that would, would, would indeed play out in these last days. And we're now seeing, all right, the, um, the works of Yahweh Barashem, Yahweh Shai, in regards to moving these prophecies forward, okay? So this is a beautiful time, you know, to be alive. This is a very, very beautiful time to be alive because starting with Apostle, to Elder Apostle R and down, you know, we have been warning you, you know, on the highways and the byways, you know, every week, week in and week out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, we've been warning you, you know, via making these videos, you know, during the week, of um you know the system that Esau Edom is 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 putting in place and you know many of you are now starting to see that the um the Israelites in particularly starting with Great Millstone were right all along concerning the MOTB because you have all of these companies you know pushing forth you know the biolab technology pushing forth you know the um the brain CHIP technology and bringing that to the forefront and, you know, running these trials on animals and on humans and, you know, giving your sight back and, you know, all of these abilities, you know, the miracles on the left hand side, you know, putting that into the forefront because they're getting ready to introduce to you, all right, the MOTB, which all of these, you know, mechanisms and, you know, additional um, things that it can do, you know, it's all going to come in the same package, all right? And unless you have the MOTB, you're not going to be able to function on the grid. You're not going to be able to function in the society, all right, that you're currently functioning right now, all right? So we're at the point where a lot of people are going to have to be making decisions in their life, all right? People are going to have to actually choose a side. We're actually coming to that point where people are going to actually seriously going to have to choose a side, and um, figure out, you know, where they're going to be in the grand scheme of things. But we, we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai that these things are already decided through the spirit, all right? The Lord has already, you know, ordained, you know, particular men, you know, women and children to be delivered in these last days. And he has already ordained particular men, women and children to be destroyed, all right, in these last days, okay? Everything is already pre-decided through the spirit, Okay? Now, um, let me click on this one on um, CNBC. Now, it says, um, Biden just put out an executive order on cryptocurrencies. Here's everything that's in it. 
Now, when we scroll down, it says, um, I want to get to the main points of, you know, really the pretenses of what they're using to say, you know, the reason why they're doing this. Now, it says here, consumer and investor protection, financial stability, illicit activity, U.S. competitiveness on a global stage. And it says financial inclusion, and it says responsible innovation, all right? So the mass majority of these points that they've outlined are all pretenses, okay? And ways to look like, you know, they're doing this in the best efforts to help you and to keep you safe, you know, to keep your information safe, to make sure you're financially stable and to make sure you're getting, um, you know, a fair a fair share of what you're supposed to be, you know, getting when it comes to uh, cryptocurrencies and how to deal with them. But we know this is all through control. And we, we also know through the spirit that, you know, this whole crypto thing was brought to you by the devil. Okay, this was this was all brought to you by by the devil. You know, this whole Bitcoin, you know, Ethereum, you know, and all of these, um, you know, different coins that you have out there is ultimately all controlled by the elite. All right, they're not going to have you know, the mass majority of people get rich out of the blue and be financial, financially independent and self-sustainable um, on their own, okay? The plan was always to, 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 at some point, get fully involved, you know, with these, um you know, the leading governments throughout the four corners of the globe because everything is going to unify into one anyway, okay, with the, with the New World Order system. So they always knew there was going to be a time where they was going to step in Okay, and then if you will legitimize, you know, particular coins, you know, that they might like, that they might, you know, um, like the technology of or think works the best and then merge it, you know, with their own government coins. Okay, because they have control over these things. All right, if they want, they can cancel out Bitcoin tomorrow. All right, that's not an issue for them because ultimately they are in control. Okay, so these are the things, you know, that... um that they're, they're, they're pinpointing as their reasons for the um, executive order. Now, it says protecting consumers is an important part of the directive that have been countless stories of investors failing, falling for crypto scams or losing huge sums of money through cyber attacks on exchanges or users themselves. Yeah, which is true. You know, a lot of that was happening. You had, all, you know, all kind of scams. You know, you had the whole BitConnect send, uh, uh, scam you know, bit consent, you had all of these, you know, coins that would just, you know, pop up out of the blue, then you'd have, um, you know, people throwing money at these coins, and then what would happen eventually, you would lose your money, okay, this was all set up by design, okay, because again, later they would, they knew they were going to step in, and they were going to regulate the system, okay, because remember, this is, this is the MOTB technology, all right, this is the blockchain technology, that's the MOTB, um, you know, framework, and way that it's going to work, all right. So it says the Biden administration is calling on the Treasury to assess and develop policy recommendations on crypto. It also wants regulators to ensure sufficient oversight and safeguard against any systemic financial risk posed by digital assets. And it's all it's also about um, regulating and um, taxing, you know, the profit that anyone might make on um on any of these coins, all right? Because again, you have people out there that are making serious money, all right, out of these coins and are able to um, use it without paying, you know, their fair share of tax in the government's eyes. So that also has to be regulated. And the only way you can regulate all of these issues, all right, and secret, you know, um, under the table, you know, deals that be um, going down in that, in that, in that um, crypto world is to regulate it by the government and make sure everyone has a, um, a CHIP in their body so everything can be monitored. And that's what it's all about. All right, so the first scripture I want to get um, is in the book of Daniels regarding uh, the policy and the um, craft because that's exactly, you know, what's happening here, all right? Esau is bringing forth particular policies, essentially laws, in order to frame um, 
a specific direction in where, in where he wants things to go, which is leading to the MOTB. So this is Daniel chapter 8 and verse 25. And it says, and through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. All right. And that's how Esau always comes. It always comes through the pretense of peace, through the pretense of your well-doing, making your life easier, making your life safer, looking out for you. All right. These are the point of sale that Esau always comes with. Okay. Because he's the devil. So it says, he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand, okay? So by his policy, all right, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And that's what you've been witnessing. He saw passing, you know, certain laws, certain policies, putting them into, the pl into place. And most of the time he will um, pass particular laws and policies when, when people are distracted by other things that's going on in the media, okay? Like, for example, you have this situation um, in the Ukraine, you know, with Russia, okay? Now, these are the perfect times, you know, to pass very important laws that go under the radar because everyone is distracted with other things that's happening throughout the four corners of the globe. People are distracted with food, uh, food um, price hikes. People are distracted with the fuel hikes. People are distracted with, you know, basically just trying to survive you know, off of um, off of the off of, of the off of the little bit that they have, okay. So no one's really thinking about you know these things that are happening, you know, behind the scenes. But these things are very important because it's building the way for the MOTB system. And all of a sudden, Esau is just going to drop, you know, a substantial um, a substantial amount of changes into society, and you're not even going to see you know where it came from. All right. And that's how Esau works. That's how Esau gets down. All right. So and through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. And it says in the uh, book of Obadiah, you know, um, thy pride have deceived thee. All right. Because ultimately we understand that Esau is deceived, you know, by his pride. Okay. He's deceived by his pride because he actually believes you know, in his spirit, all right, in his mind that he's able to pull this off. You know, he believes that he's going to be able to actually, you know, continue, continue and rule, you know, the earth. Um, and then somehow, you know, the Lord is not going to come back, but that's not going to happen because the Yahweh Shem Yahshai is going to take him, you know, out of his seat. It tells you in Job, you know, the, the, about the bounds. Let's try and... Let me find that scripture. All right, because there's a particular time that Esau has to rule. And then after that time, Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to cut off, you know, his rulership. All right. So this is Job chapter 14 and verse 5. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right. So the Lord has set up bounds, all right, a fresh a threshold, if you will, that Esau Edom and his rulership and his power is not able to pass. Okay? And we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Kudash that we are in the midst of the end of Esau's power. Okay, because the scriptures tell you that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked and he covers the faces of the judges. Now we believe that power that he has from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right, and that time to rule, we believe that's coming to a, 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 a end right now. And you can see just by monitoring, you know, the way that Esau is perceived throughout the four corners of the globe. You can see by how the other nations are looking at Esau and how they're no longer afraid of him. All right, now everyone's, you know, confident and, um, you know, willing to challenge the authority and the power of Esau, Edom and the beast system because he's losing power all right he's losing that strength that he once had and that's because through the spirit and power of Yahweh about shim Shai, you know his rulership is actually coming to an end all right so we're going to start witnessing esau being very erratic being very impulsive and doing anything that he can in his power in his last you know few hour uh, remains of his power to try and keep in power okay so, you know, these are the things we have to look forward to, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, now with that, our Lord willing, um, this lesson was edifying. And until the next one, 
I'll say Shalom.